What's up, ladies and gents? Social Nurse here. Thank you very much for stopping by the channel. I really do appreciate your time. Like, comment, subscribe. Comment, leave a comment respectfully because some of these topics that I cover are touchy. And I think that this is a touchy comment uh, uh, article and topic as well. Now, we're not out to just hurt people's feelings, right? But I think that some of the rules concerning women's sports and the participants in the sports need to be reevaluated. This article over there on Daily Wire is really interesting. A coach had to pull his team off the basketball court, just forfeit the game, just say the heck with it. We're not going to play anymore. But he did it with good reason. And I want to say that um, I've got respect for a coach that just, you know, won't force the issue, that will not continue to try to win when they see that their team is at such a great disadvantage that their players are being injured, right? Three players. It's being reported that Three players were injured on this team. And I believe this happened, yeah, in Massachusetts. But on the Daily Wire, the article is titled, Trans Controversy Erupts When Girls Basketball Game Ends in Forfeit Following Three Injuries. The player is reported to be more than six feet tall with facial hair. Go over there and read this article. They've got a biological male on a team competing against another team that's, you know, 100% XX, biological female girls, teen girls, young ladies, and three Three girls were injured by this player. A lot of people believe that there is no difference, that if you identify as something, you should be able to participate. And it doesn't matter uh, how other people feel. It just, you know, facts don't matter. Uh, people really believe that there's... No difference as long as your mind identifies you in a certain way. And the truth is, is that there continues to be a, you know, a difference, right? We know that there's a difference between male and female, right? Biologically, we know that women's capacity uh, as far as oxygen, I can't even really gather my words here because this is beginning to be problematic. And I think it would be only fair to biological women and girls, XX, that the sports teams and who can participate be reevaluated. I think that it is steadily being proven that things aren't fair when you allow biological males to go up against biological female. Let me share a little bit more of the article because Riley Gaines has commented on this and we know that Riley Gaines is an advocate for women's sport. Riley Gaines unfortunately had the experience of competing against a trans person that is a biological male, and it was just a horrific experience for the swim team and Riley Gaines, right? It's it's just really something that needs to be reevaluated. And Riley Gaines goes around advocating for women's sports. So let me share a little bit more. And I also want you to go over to thedailywire.com 
and read this article, but trans identified male player for Kip Academy in Massachusetts injured three girls before halftime, causing Lowell Collegiate Charter School to forfeit. Riley gains a top collegiate, collegiate swimmer turned girl sports advocate captioned the video. A man hitting a woman used to be called domestic abuse. Now it's called brave. Who watches this and actually thinks this is a compassionate, this is compassionate, kind, and inclusive? Do you agree with Riley Gaines? What are your thoughts on this? Again, it is being proven that biological males against biological females is problematic as well as dangerous. Biological males have competed against women, females, in sporting events such as MMA, track and field, swimming, weightlifting, golf, rowing. It just goes on and on and on. This basketball game is just another example. Three girls were injured, according to reports. The coach decided to just forfeit the game because the bench did not have enough players where proper substitutions and the game could go on in a healthy way. The coach considered safety and he wants his players to be included in sport play in a safe way, right? Right? We understand this. We understand that what's being proven is that biological males have still greater muscle mass, greater bone mass, greater power and strength. They are taller. They have quicker first steps. They have quicker... Uh, movement as far as pace and length in between their steps. They have a longer wingspan, longer reach, right? Bigger knuckles, bigger hands. They have a greater lung capacity concerning oxygenation and air. They have bigger hearts in order to pump more blood, get that hemoglobin going around, spreading that oxygen around. We understand these things, right? We understand that there is a difference besides someone identifying as the other gender or as the other sex. Uh, inclusivity is fine, but inclusivity is also beginning to show danger, right? What should we do about this? What are your thoughts, social news?